Welcome to tutorial 19. I'm going to show you how to make this a fire whip. Useful for setting fire to your friends and your family. Very, very dangerous, just so you know what you're getting into. Let's start with the basics. This is Kevlar wick. This is one inch thick. It's very strong. It doesn't burn and it's absolutely impossible to cut. We're going to attach it to this, which is just a piece of plumbing stuff I got from the DIY store. You fasten it in and, you know, it makes an effective whip. It's nice and safe in a kind of totally dangerous way. We're going to take the cap off this piece of plumbing device, fasten it onto the wick. The rubber washer doesn't really have to be on there. I just put it there to burn, just because. And I'm going to put a screw through the wick below and above that screw on cap. And the reason I do that is that it just stops the cap moving in and out of the of the wick which holds the wick into the handle it's nice and simple so i push that on there push the cap down onto the bottom screw push one more screw in a little fiddly but it's nice and uh, you know if you can get it right it's pretty solid and it's very simple you know you don't need any special tools or anything clever like i said the hardest part about all of this is actually cutting the wick to length and then you'll need to bind the end of the wick. I just use a little bit of wire on mine to stop it fraying. All right, that's done. So let's fasten it to the handle and see what we have. Looks pretty good, nice and solid. Not going to come off, which is important. Now, let's take this off. Now notice that the wick goes inside the handle and the wick's going to be covered in fuel and there's air in the, in the handle, which means it's all going to go horribly wrong and burn your hands. So we need to stop the air. So what I've just stuck on here now is just a rubber foot off the table. They cost a dollar each or something from the home, home store and it just stops the air in. Then to make it pretty, I just rub the whole thing in black electric tape and it makes a nice handle. What next? Safety. Let me just move this rope out of the way. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, this is called black fabric. You've seen it when you went to the theatre. It's the black screen that stops you being able to see anything that opens at the beginning of the production. It's incredibly tough and it doesn't burn. So we use that to smother the wick after you've done the spinning. It's a great way of putting it out. Next safety item. This is a spin bucket. You put your wick in this and you spin it around before you set fire to it. It spins off the extra fuel that you don't want to burn. This little grid just keeps the wick off the bottom of the bucket where the fuel sits. Fuel. I have this in a separate bucket. Now the wicks should be kept wet at all time. You can see they just soak in there in the fuel. Uh, I'll visit the website to find out about the fuel. So let's burn this thing. Let's take the handle, screw it onto the wick. Now you're going to get the fuel all over your hands, but generally it doesn't matter. It'll evaporate before you actually get anywhere near a flame. Carefully place it into the spin bucket. Now this is where that little metal drill keeps the wick off the fuel that's now dripping into the bottom of the, of the canister. And you give it a spin. And giving it a spin gets off a huge amount of fuel, which you don't want because if you're outside and you flick in the whip, that fuel will fly out and it will set fire to your friends and family. And that generally is a bad idea. Let's just pour off the excess fuel. I got quite a lot of fuel off that thing. And now we're ready to spin. So let's take this thing outside and set fire to some things. 